Today I want to set the record straight. First of all, some of you have implied that I don't like Toyota vehicles. That's not true. In fact, what you see here is my current personal vehicle, a 1999 Toyota Land Cruiser. And my very first car was a 1982 Toyota Celica. So I'm clearly uh, a fan of Toyotas. However, I bought both of those two cars because they were different. They kind of stood out and they were extremely reliable. Now today's Toyotas, like this 2013 camera, are certainly reliable, but when I don't recommend a vehicle like the Camry, it's not because I don't think it's a good car. In fact, I think it's a great car and it's the safest car. And I actually make this recommendation more often than probably any other vehicle to people I just meet because it's a no-brainer vehicle. However, it's not a car that an automotive journalist would put in their driveway for one simple reason. As most journalists, motor trend, car and driver, you name it, and they'll probably buy a three-year-old BMW stick shift wagon instead of a brand new Camry if they had about 25 grand to spend because they like to be different. We like to be the one percenters. The Camry is consistently one of the top two best-selling passenger cars in America, selling about 400,000 units a year. It's a lot of cars. And uh, there's a reason for that because they just do it right. It's dependable, it's reliable, and the configuration is pretty simple. Four trim levels, L, LE, SE, and XLE. The top two levels, the SE and XLE, can get a V6 engine. The rest come standard with a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine. The Camry doesn't do any one thing great, but it does everything extremely well. For example, the 2.5 liter four cylinder engine produces 178 horsepower, gets 35 miles to the gallon on the highway, 25 in the city. Those aren't the best numbers by any means, but they're very good numbers. Here we have the 268 horsepower V6 engine. Again, very powerful, very potent, uh, not as fuel efficient, average fuel economy about 27, but still a very good tried and true engine. So what are the key features that are important to a mid-sized sedan buyer? Well, for starters, price. Camry does a good job. Fuel economy, again, very good job. Trunk space, as you can see, plenty of cargo room here with a split fold-down rear seat. Let's check out the back seat because one of the problems with the vehicle like the Malibu is it's a great car, great car to drive, but no rear leg room. Let's see what the Camry has. As you can see, this front seat is almost all the way back for a six foot one uh, driver. I still have a little bit of knee room, a little bit of head room, some good shoulder room. So good, good job, uh, Camry. Uh, again, some of your competitors like the Fusion and Malibu don't do such a good job with the back seat. Toyota's done a good job with the interior. It's dramatically improved over the outgoing model. Uh, in fact, if you look at all the past models, they've never really been too exciting, but this one, uh, they've done a good job. You got a nice large navigation screen. You've got some very um, high-tech controls for a mid-sized sedan. And I think they've done a good job uh, adding in some of this uh, kind of faked aluminum and eh, I, could, I could live without the wood, but that's personal uh, taste. Overall, the car does feel good. Uh, got a nice sporty steering wheel and comfortable seats. Again, Camry does everything you know pretty good but maybe not one thing great. At a time when most car companies have abandoned the V6 engine for their mid-sized sedans, Toyota is sticking with it. And why not? It's a very tried and true 3.5 liter engine. It's made it to a six-speed automatic. And you know it's gonna give you all the power you're gonna need on your daily commute or uh, on your way to the soccer practice uh, to pick up the kids. 